the right move or wrong move. Skiva, you know what I love it when coaches say that it's not just one. It's not just one player. But that's the only quarter, that's the only position that you change. You didn't change the offensive linemen. You didn't change the wide receivers. You didn't change anything on the defense. You changed that one position. But you said, yet yeah, it's bigger than one player. Skip, right move, wrong move, I believe it's the only move. And because I think what they they've lost confidence in Carson Wentz. I believe Wentz has lost confidence in himself. And um there was you saw after the game Aaron Rodgers talking to him. And Aaron wouldn't uh, divulge what they talked about. He said, if Carson wants to talk about that. I'll allow him to tell you what we discussed on the field. Aaron but, did say he's a fan of Winston. Right. Yep. Skip, I believe he's lost confidence, and, you know, this is a move that you, you, you probably had to make. But let me tell you about this moving forward. When you bench a guy this late in his career, one or two things are going to have to happen. Either the coach is going to have to leave or you're going to have to move him. I don't believe you can come. Skip, I do not believe. I believe this is for the rest of the season because it does you no good to bench him for two games and then bring him back for two games. Mm -hmm. I believe in order for you to move forward and get the best of both, both somebody needs to go. Either Wentz, you trade Wentz, or you cut him and eat $60 million, or you move uh, uh, Doug Peterson. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe they can coexist together, Skip. Mm -hmm. I don't believe moving forward they can coexist together. But this was a move, like you said, they need a spark. Boy, Jalen Hurst said, uh, I sure wish you would have tried to let this thing spark up against New Orleans, who happens to be right now playing as the best team, one of the best. They're clearly the best team in the NFC and arguably the second best team in all of football, considering how many games they won consecutive, and their defense has been dominant. Mm -hmm. We talk about de we don't really talk about defenses a whole lot, Skip, because the offenses have been doing their thing, but New Orleans defense can flat out get after you. And Jalen Hurts is going to have to use those legs to get out of harm's way because they can come get you. Uh, 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 Dennis Allen, who's the D.C. in New Orleans, they can lock you up because you know how they like to play, Skip. They like to play man cover with Marshawn and Jack Rabbit. They got uh, uh, Malcolm Jenkins can play man on your tight end, and they can come get you with that front four. So good luck. But, uh, Skip, I believe this was probably the, the only move that they can make given where they are right now. Mm. And basically what – because remember, Skip, a couple of weeks ago, they asked Doug, Doug Peterson, was he going to make the move? He said, no, because it would send the wrong message. Well, you just sent a clear message to your football team. Mm -hmm. You just sent even a clearer message to uh, Carson Wentz. You're the problem. Mm -hmm. And we need to go in a different direction. Mm. And you do agree he is the problem. He's a part of the problem, but there's a lot of problems going on. From offensive line to skill position, I think Doug Peterson has done this kid a disservice. I think he's called a horrible game this year. Okay, so... I dug in on this from Carson Wentz's <clears throat> rookie year on. Not a fan. I don't believe in his ability to play the position at a supremely high, consistent level. I don't think he's consistently accurate enough. I don't think he has the best feel for the game. Best thing he does is just sort of take off and try to run through a brick wall. And I'll give him this. He's a big strapping kid at 6'5", maybe 235 or 40. Mm -hmm. If you just look at him... In and of himself, he's got a much bigger arm than Jalen Hurts does, and he's a much bigger man than Jalen Hurts is, mm -hmm. even though Jalen's 6'1", 225. Right. But I believe, as I said, the, the day of the draft on that, was it Saturday? Yeah, it would have been on Saturday when he was drafted later in the second round. Mm -hmm. I went on social and said, Jalen Hurts will ultimately be a better quarterback than Carson Wentz. And the only reason I would be afraid of the Eagles would be if Jalen Hurts seizes control of this job going forward, and then I'm going to have really mixed emotions because I'm a big Jalen Hurts fan. Every time Jalen plays Dallas, and they got one game coming up in a couple of weeks, obviously, it's going to be hard for me not to root for Jalen Hurts because I just love his football character. I love his dedication. I love that he's a, a coach's kid. I, I love his natural-born <clears throat> leadership that, that he just oozes as he did at Alabama and Oklahoma, and he will quickly take over this locker room and huddle. So I think it's absolutely the right move, but I now offer Jalen Hurts congratulations and condolences because <laughs> I ask you, has, has any rookie who didn't start from game one, any rookie who gets thrown in later in the year, had a higher degree of difficulty for a first start than this one? No. This team is playing at at an absurdly high level on defense right now. Over the last four weeks, they're tied for first in sacks in the NFL. 
they lead the NFL in yards allowed. So you can make a case it's the best defense, or at least it's playing the best yeah. right now in the NFL. They, they have just terrorized Matt Ryan twice in a few weeks, mm -hmm. and you know what they did to Tom Brady on that Sunday night at Tampa Bay, yes. right? So we know what they're capable of. So my first thought yesterday was, you know, being cynical, you know, sort of second guesser that I would be, I started thinking, well, gee, is, is this like Tebow-esque sabotage? Is somebody upstairs saying, let's just throw him to the wolves and get this over with? He's our backup? I don't know where the allegiances lie about who who wanted Jalen Hurts. Yeah. Was it just Howie Roseman or was Dougie P in on it? Did, did he second the emotion of J Did he love Jalen Hurts? Because it, it feels like it's the wrong place, wrong time to to get him off on the right foot, right? right like, right. How, isn't this a recipe for disaster? It is, it is, and you're asking an awful lot to put a young man uh, the what is it, 13th game of the season, and yeah. you got to go up against that, that on the road. No, I think it's at home. Is it at home? I'm pretty sure it's at Philly. But you might be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's that. Skip, that's a tall task. It's a tall task, and you keep saying all year, well, they lost to Sean, and you can go down the list right. of how banged up they've been at receiver, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Alshon's back, but he seems like a shell of himself, shell of himself yeah. right? And, uh, Zach Ertz is back, but he hadn't been yeah, involved. And, and, and I don't know if his up, heart's in it. Right, yeah. right, because he wanted that contract extension. And, and Zach got Ertz back. Is, is a huge Carson Wentz backer because they've had a special connection. Correct, Right. correct, yes. Okay, so Jalen gets thrown into that, and it reminded me a little bit. Remember the Tebow when when Elway and Fox in you know obviously they inherited Tim Tebow. Right. They didn't draft him. Right. Josh McDaniels drafted McDaniel. him the year before. So th they said after one and four start with Kyle Orton, they said, okay, we're going to Miami. Let's just let's just get this over with. Let's throw him to the Wolves in Miami, and you know the rest of the story. They somehow survived and won in overtime at Miami, and here they went. Right. Right. Okay. So. Can he survive here? I, I think he'll survive. I, I don't expect him to play great against because nobody plays great. Right. If, if Brady and Matt Ryan, a former MVP, can't play great against his team, nobody can. Well, I think you have to treat him differently, Skip, because of his legs. So you always worry about guys that can run. I'm not so much. If anything, I'm going to make him throw the football. I don't. I don't believe he can. I don't. If I'm if I'm Dennis Allen, I do not believe Jalen Hurts can beat me from the pocket yep. throwing the football. Where he could hurt me is getting out on the edges and scrambling. And that's the mistake I think a lot of times you, you made, if you look at Miami, Skip, the mistake that they made is they kept letting Tebow get outside. And he kept picking up first down at the yep. first down. And then let, next thing you know, he makes a play at the end of the game throwing it to beat you. He did. So that's what you got to be careful of. I'm going to make him – I'm going to make Jalen Hurts. You believe, he can, you believe he can play quarterback in this league? Well, okay, I'm, I'm going to make you show me. Make him beat me from the pocket. Okay. I do think they will play better for Jalen Hurts than they have played for Carson Wentz because the one thing I do agree with you on, the team has lost confidence in Carson. Yeah. And to your point, Carson has to have lost most of his faith in himself yeah. because he's bringing up the rear in just about every meaningful category. He's, he's leading in interceptions, sacks, Skip. fumbles. you got to think about this, Skip. In, in 12 games, and he's been sacked 50 times, and he played, he played a quarter and a half with two quarters, two and a half quarters, uh, last game, and he's been sacked 50 times. If you project that out, you're getting skipped. You're talking about 62, 65, somewhere between 62 and 65 sacks. Yep. That erects up. Remember, Derek Carr got, got David, David Carr. Mm -hmm. they, they sacked him, I think, 70 plus times his rookie year. He was never the same. Mm -mm. You're asking, that's like a running back. You let him carry the ball 400 times. Yep. That's a point of no return. You start letting quarterbacks get hit 50 and 60 times, you're going to a point of no return. Yep. But, Skip, when you do this, I don't see benching a quarterback that's been in the league that long that you're paying that kind of money to. You bench him that late in the season, how you can come back to him as that coach. Okay, remember, he makes $35 million a year. Yes. And if you cut him after this year, he would count $60, 60. million dead, dead money yes. against the cap. Yes. What? But you still, but, but think about it. You still owe him like twenty nine next year, guaranteed. Mm. I don't know. And, and if Unless I was somebody, team, would take that off your. No, no, no. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I will. I will. They've got a problem. Okay. It's the, skip. Sometimes you say, "Man, I would really like to get me a nice car," but it's the upkeep. I would really like to have Carson win, but it's the upkeep of that contract that would deter me mm. from doing it. Because mm. skip, they probably still got a, what another eighty five, a hundred mm. million dollars. Mm. Still do it. 
Not well, good. So even Shannon Sharp is about to be out on Carson Wentz. I would be in on Carson Wentz if he gets another head coach. Mm. I'm I'm done with him. Skip, this this is right now. They're just waiting for the kids to get out of school so they can go their separate ways. Mm. I think I, I think Mr. Lurie is waiting for this season to be over. Yep. And he's gonna split this couple up. Mm. That's what I believe. And who will go? If it's me, Dougie P goes. Okay. And so you would go back to Carson Wentz. I would go back starter? to Carson Wentz. I would I would go back to Carson Wentz. Okay. Yes. I believe Jalen Hurst will make that impossible. It may not be just this Sunday, but they have three more games after right. that. And I'm going to remind you, that even though you discounted his performance when he literally got thrown in cold up at Lambeau Field mm-hmm. this past Sunday, Pro Football Focus, your favorite website, says that of the 33 quarterback performances this season, Hurst this this past Sunday As a rookie, was the of, of the rookie performances. Yeah, rookie quarterback performances. His ranked fourth highest graded by them. And so nobody, I thought it was pretty good. Nobody's going to believe that. If you watch Justin Herbert, who had thrown two touchdowns in every game except this last game, and Joe Burrow, who has had two 400-yard games early and a couple of 300-yard games, and you watch two of what he did in, 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 in last week and what he did in no way, no how, mm. did Jalen Hurts have had a game better other than the last game. Now, Justin Herbert, notwithstanding, 45 nothing, he was horrible. But, Skip, if you look at the games that he's played up until then, mm-hmm. it's not even close. Mm. If you look at Joe Burrow, what he was doing, it's not even close. Mm. You look at Tua last week, mm. what he did, it I, wasn't I even thought close. Tua was average. Oh, no, no, almost 300. Uh, almost 300. Yeah, it was average. Don't do that, Skip. Well, Pro Football Focus said it. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to take this to the bank. So, we'll see. I think he can at least survive against New Orleans, but I do not wish this upon anybody. Surviving is not thriving. No. Well, who who thrives against this defense? Well, hey, hey, somebody has. Yeah. Well, I don't want you coming in here on Monday saying, see, I told you so. Uh, No, I told you so. This is hard. No, 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 don't do that. So, what you want? Oh, you ain't saying nothing with his heart. But that offensive skill, if they had, if that offensive line was from 2017, mm. I was, and, and Carson Wentz was struggling like this. If Alshon looked like he looked in 2017, mm-hmm. if D. Jack was healthy, looked like he looked in 2017, and Ertz, Skip, and Wentz was playing like this, I was like, Skip, they mm. need to move on. Mm. But with that offensive line and with that, those skill positions, mm. it'd be hard pressed for me to say Aaron Rodgers and Patrick Mahomes, as great as they are, mm. could do anything with that. Remember, in 2018, at New Orleans in a playoff game, old Nicky Foles, man, the magic man, he had New Orleans on the ropes until the ball went right through Alshon's hands, got intercepted. Remember that? Okay. So that's how good they were with the backup quarterback. Okay, okay. That's all you need to know. But I, I'm just trying to figure out why that backup quarterback can't do that mm. anywhere else mm. except Philly. Mm. I mean, a tiger's still a tiger, whether he's in India, he's in Siberia, or he's in a zoo in San Diego. He's still a tiger. Mm. He will roar. He eats meat. They've so- changed his diet. <laughs> yeah, he's still one of the best oh, he's a vegan tiger he's now. Anyway. now. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.